Got an 09 Ford coming in. We're going to show you how to take the instrument cluster out. Hold it. Okay, so we're in the truck now. I've already done the intro. Oh, okay. All right, well, here we go then. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is... Always want to lower that. Uh, lower Hopefully. it with this little thing. Not really, but there's not much room I can get more than this. So... Uh, you want to use a pry bar or any kind of plastic interior. Um, a screwdriver to uh, remove this. Bottom piece here. That will expose. There's one screw on this side. Seven oh. millimeter screws. We got seven millimeter. One on each side of the. And we got. Oh, yeah. oh Jesus, we can't get in there. <laughs> Just imagine if this one was on the other side. <laughs> uh, this is a nice little handy extension we've got here. Okay, come on, get in there. Okay. Sometimes it actually works. Sometimes it works. Usually got to get a little more room. Normally we're pressed for length. This is one of the few times that we are not. Okay, I'm gonna actually need right. to Gotta drill with a little more balls than that last one. Indeed. A little, okay, there we go. Sometimes you're breaking it, uh, breaking the uh, connection. Breaking it loose. Yeah, breaking it loose. <laughs> Wanna make so that clear. Breaking don't, the, don't break breaking the surface <laughs> tension. <not> yeah. The <laughs> yeah. yeah. <clears throat> The turn is a little misleading. All right. We should have two more screws up underneath. Yes, we do. And is this one? We probably should have the soccer wrench. Huh? Another tool. Stand by. Uh, let's get this. I think. So what we're looking for right there. Special. This is the part where I tell you, someone's already taken this thing out and they've changed <laughs> the bolt. This so is a Phillips head. In? Oh, really? Yeah, someone put a Phillips head. That would explain. Fortunately, I keep my feathers numbered for just such an occasion. No, how did you know that there was going to need to be a Phillips head? <laughs> oh my God. Truly foreseeing the future here. Now, Normally, these Get are two. Get did. This video okay. is going to be an hour and a half. You keep talking. I'll just... <laughs> I don't think this is. Okay. Oh. Uh, righty tighty left. Yes, I'm here. aware. I'm trying to. Oh my god, this this video is already like going to get like thumbs down, nasty comments. Oh my god. I should have let you do the video and me do the. Well, if this was a normal video, you want to, we, we, could, we could redo, I put this dang thing back together. <laughs> Don't you? Trash. Someone's done messed this up. I'm going to have to fast forward video so it well, makes, makes it look like you can work at a decent pace. Aye, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have to literally hold tension here while I do this because somebody put a bolt or a, a screw that's not meant for this in the position. Don't act like I'm the one who messed up here. It's whoever it was in here before me who's making my life a little difficult. Also, I asked you for a sucker wrench and you gave me this. This thing? You asked for what? I asked you for a sucker wrench and you gave me this, which thankfully this thing works, but at this point a screwdriver would have been better. Oh, oh there it goes. Ay, ay, ay. Finally, screws up. Got another one on this? Nope. They only put so one. Put one. Ay, uh, yeah. So at that then, point, the thing pops off. Do you be careful? There's one of these uh, little lights here. There should be a wire on the back side of this. So do not pull too hard. You know, that's an aftermarket alarm, so um it probably is not a standard feature on now, most forwards. sometimes you do have to pry it up this side of the radio 
just so you can get a little clearance, a little extra clearance at the bottom here. Just gotta get this out. As I said, the wire. Okay. Now comes two more seven millimeter okay. bolts. The upper screws are the, are ones. the ones from the outside. Yes. You should have two more seven millimeters, one on each side of the cluster. I'm going to there and there. Use the drill with a little more oomph. Whoever put this in before us put a lot of torque on these particular screws when they should not have. Okay, this is coming out because we have no center screen yes. illumination. So this is the power to the cluster is on. This is off, on, nothing. If it lights up, make sure we don't have a Somebody wasn't smart enough to turn on the... Yes, yeah, so that has happened many a time. Yeah, okay. Pull it. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, come on. Yep. Boy, this is dust. Explain to the people what you're doing. They gotta know. Okay, well, I pull this down. There's a little plug over here. Now the plug, on the back side of the plug, has a little pin that you push in and then you can pull you pull it out and then you're free now here's why you have this as low as possible is because this does not give you much room for clearance so pull it out to the side here just be gentle with how you're moving it watch your clearance clearance Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, for you airplane fans out there, That's there's the your little flag. tab that you push to yes. release the uh, harness. Sometimes you, you have it a little out. screwdriver in there.